If you skip this, you might miss how DARPA is quietly shaping the future. Have you heard of the Hi5 program? It's where cutting-edge speed meets next-level power driven by indium phosphide H at heterojunction by polar transistors or in HBTs reaching deep into the 220 GHz range. Why indium phosphide? It's not just another semiconductor, it's the Formula One of materials. It enables incredibly fast electron transport thanks to its low effective mass, allowing signals to race through at GHZ speeds. At 220 GHz, every fraction of a nanosecond counts and INT delivers the speed needed without excessive resistance. HBTs built on Inpartune to maximize to critical performance benchmarks, the transition frequency FT and the maximum frequency of oscillation FMAX. These determine how fast and efficiently a transistor can amplify and switch signals. We're talking about peak FT at 400 GHz and FMAX hitting 700 GHz that are borderline futuristic. But here's the engineering challenge. One transistor can't provide enough output power at 220 GHz for practical wireless systems. The solution, power combining. Engineers use a casco design combining for HBTs to in common emitter to in common base into a two-stage amplifier cell. This configuration improves gain, enhances isolation between stages and simplifies impedance matching, which is notoriously hard at high frequencies. Each cascode cell delivers over 15 decibels of gain at 220 GHz. These cells are then packed into monolithic microwave integrated circuits, or MMICs. And here's where things get clever. Multiple levels of on-wafer power combining are used with non-inverted microstrip interconnects. These interconnects shield the imp substrate and reduce RF losses, which is absolutely critical when every milliwatt counts. Let's talk results. A 4-cell amplifier reached 48.8 milliwatt output at 220 gigahertz. An 8-cell to stage version hit 90 milliwatt with 8.2 decibels of compressed gain. Larger designs, like 16-cell and 32-cell SSPAs, reached 157 milliwatt at 220 gigs. 180 milliwatt at 214 gigs and 145 milliwatt at 208 gigahertz all under air-cooled conditions. With wafer thinning and better heat sinking, simulations predict output could reach close to 400 milliwatt that's not just impressive it's groundbreaking. This technology offers large channel capacity, stable operation efficient thermal handling, and is compatible with batch production. Opening the door for scalable, high-performance RF systems, high power, high frequency, and a high five to the future of wireless innovation.